Hey, Shad here with Speed Axe Vesco and Gear Sight on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Alpine Stars RT8 Gore Tex boot. Before we jump in and give you that full rundown on the Alpine Stars RT8, go ahead and subscribe. That helps keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase a set of these beautiful boots from speedaddicts.com, we would appreciate that. There's a link in the description below to shop for these boots or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So these are a technical touring boot, the RT8. They are Gore-Tex membraned and they are nice lugged out, which means uh, soles, which means they're capable to do some, some, uh, some fire roads, some light trails, and they are the last stop on the progression to something a little bit more heavy duty, say like the Corazal or the Belize or even the Toucan that are a little bit more rugged and more off-road oriented. So what I found is that a lot of uh, adventure guys actually don't spend quite as much time off-road as they think. And this might be a good boot for those guys. Say you're 90, 10 or 80, 20 on-road to off-road. These are an excellent choice. You're giving up some of that protection you get from the more uh, rugged off-road oriented boots, but they are about a pound lighter than say the Belize or the, the uh, Corazal, and they're totally waterproof. They've got that nice rugged sole. We're gonna do the full deep dive and uh, tell you first up the price. 369 makes a set of these yours. They only weigh a pound and 10 ounces. They are CE certified. They're waterproof because of that Gore-Tex membrane. And like all the road going boots from Alpine Stars, they do run a size big. Uh, on the website, you are going to see these in Euro sizes. So let me show you how the sizing works. You're gonna use our sizing chart to translate the Euro size into the US sneaker size that you normally wear, and then move down a size. So these are 44s, which means they translate to a US nine and a half. We would recommend these for anyone that wears a US 10 and a half in a sneaker. See how that works? So you're gonna move down a full size. It's like that in virtually the whole road touring sport um, category for Alpine Stars boots. These are available in size 40 to 48, which works out to a six and a half to 12 and a half US. And when it comes to fit, if you buy your next set of boots at Alpine Stars, remember no cost returns. As long as you're in the United States, and the boots are new in original condition, we are happy to get you a free return label. Just a couple clicks, we make it real easy. Give us a shot, we'll treat you like family. Okay, first thing, let's talk about how you jump into the RT8s. That's gonna be a medial entry point, lots of Velcro here. So we're gonna open up three patches of Velcro and expose the zipper. Not only do you have a zipper, but you also have a fast lace cinch mechanism inside of these. Like I said, they're a little bit more technical than say the uh, the Air Pluses or the Ridge, the Andy, some of their other touring boots, you're gonna get a little bit extra um, grip from that lace. So this is the Gator, this is, uh, it's all Gore-Tex here. So this is a 100% waterproof boot. The magic of Gore-Tex is that it allows your foot to breathe while allowing water or keeping water out of the boot. You do not want the HCO in the boot. There's the entry. This is all breathable. They're 3D mesh material inside. And uh, that gator comes up pretty high here to keep all the water out of this. The footbed, it's their standard Alpine Stars vented footbed. There's not a whole lot to it. If you decide you want to use a different footbed, you're welcome to do so. Uh, let's zip this back up. Oh, well, actually, while we have it open, we're gonna show you the extra cinch right here to get a little bit more bite out of the lace. You're just gonna go ahead and pull up on that and uh, bite that off right there to help cinch up the boot. Okay, let's talk about the type of protection you're gonna get on the RT8. Uh, you get a reinforced toe box and a reinforced heel cut that's gonna keep these from crushing should the bike end up on your foot. This is key. This is the number one place that hits the ground first when you go down the asphalt and tends to slide. They've given you an ankle bone slider right here, very important. In the shin area, you do have some reinforcement here. It's not super heavy duty, but it's enough to do the job in most situations. And uh, you have some flex panels here, very walkable. Right off the bike, you have some billows up in the front. And uh, they've tried to go seamless on the bottom of the boot that allows <clears throat> maximal protection from H2O getting in. And like I said, below the exterior, you do have that Gore-Tex layer. And uh, that is the outside of this guy. Let's talk about the sole. So you'll notice this blue instep here. This is their TPF system. This is gonna allow maximum flexibility up on the front of the boot to make it very walkable 
off the bike. Now, when you get back to the heel area, this is more stiff. There's not a steel shank, but it's stiffer than the rest of their touring boots, which, like I said, this is more technical. They expect you to be able to stand on your pegs a little bit longer, something like this compared to the Ridge or the Air or the Andes or something like that. And of course, the first thing you're gonna notice is how gnarly this sole is. So very grippy, definitely serviceable off-road and uh, on or off the bike. One year warranty from Alpine Stars. Like I said, RT8, it's a great option. If you don't wanna go for the full-on adventure boot, it's lightweight, it's waterproof, it's very comfortable on and off the bike. Head over to speedx.com. You still got questions. Speedx are standing by through email, live chat, and phone. Of course, you can always drop your questions or comments in the comment section below. Appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.